Welcome to lecture 8. In this lecture we will create the four ripeness textures that will be used to indicate the ripeness of the strawberry. We will do so by adjusting the original texture that was part of the GLTF download. We will be discussing the script in more details in the next lecture, but just to give you an idea it's very similar to what we did with the earth map. So we create the strawberry map just like the earth map by instantiating the texture loader and apply the load method to load it with our texture image. Then as a material we use the mesh standard material and set the map property to our strawberry map. Also we set the side property to 2 so it's double sided. However if we would do so we encounter a problem. You see in the upper image that the texture is no longer mapped in the right order. And as a result we see a sort of striped strawberry instead of the red strawberry we expected. This is because the bytes in the byte array, which is the image, are read in the reversed order. This means that the texture loader or material map from FreeGS reads the bytes from the byte array in a different order than how the GLTF model was created. This is a quite common difference between for example operating systems. For us it means that we have to flip the texture vertically to be able to create our ripeness textures. So once we have flipped the original texture we can create our own textures for our strawberry model. Then we isolate the lower third of the image that contains the color of the fruit. We make it transparent and add four layers on top for the four different colors. So each layer will contain its own color representing the ripeness phase of the fruit. Now this example is made using Photoshop but also with other programs you should be able to come to more or less the same result. The color in each layer is the result of a gradient. In the middle the main color and on the edges a variant. The colors are taken with a color picker from this image from a study on the ripeness phases of a strawberry. By making just one of the layers visible in combination with the original as the background we can export our four textures. We name them ripeness underscore A, B, C and D. They have the JPEG format and are stored in our textures folder ready for use in our texture loader. 